Hello, I'm back again, and if you're wondering why I have two computer related stuff with the words to be destroyed written on them in permanent marker, then I have a reason why. I will be destroying these in the future, they will be pulverized. Now, this hard drive might look okay, but it's not. Booting up Windows on this thing takes forever. So, I got an even older hard drive, and ironically it works. So, this is going to be put into this machine right here. Yes, it will be put into this machine, and it will be recovering the data from this. Be back shortly. We've popped the lid off this computer, and yes, this is the inside. It all looks like a pile of spaghetti. As you can see, there is some SATA cables right there. And I'm going to plug my SATA cable in with very blindly and not being able to see. As you can see, I'm failing it right now. But at first, you so don't succeed. We will be successful later. Now we gotta plug this in the hard disk, which has been abused by me pounding the laptop. But you know, I'm a person with very bad anger management. Wait till I set this camera back in a bright spot. Finally, after a little bit of modelling around, I have a better camera angle. Now, the hard drive, I'm going to plug in the data connector, and, oops, sorry, that's not it, the power connector. Oops, wrong way. Damn it, last way was the right way. I didn't see properly. Ah, that's it. Now, since there's nowhere else for me to put this hard disk in, it, it will go in there, which isn't an appropriate spot. But, for low budget filming and a low budget computer, what do you expect? Pop the one back on, put the monitor back, and turn it on. It shouldn't be making that noise. It really shouldn't. Seriously, it shouldn't be making a computer shouldn't be making a noise like that. My God, I can hear that atrocious noise again. I'll investigate that later, but I just want to boot into Ubuntu. Yes, I am running Ubuntu on this thing. Because Windows is expensive, and I don't want to be installing Windows on a machine this crap. First the computer was making weird noises. Now it's not even responding to me pressing tab. Well, what do you expect? It doesn't like hardware changes. Suddenly, the computer refuses to boot up with this thing here. And what the f is that? Wow, that is a lot of errors. I don't know what that is. And I, and I shouldn't be saying that because I use Linux every day. And that is normal. Sorry, that's my collar. I mean, zipper. So, what are we going to be doing with that? See this machine here? That's my rudimentary server. And I'm going to be plugging this into this. Yes, I am crazy. 
this is three and a half inch, this is two and a half inch. But I don't give a damn. So we'll flick the switch off this. And it's gone, but you didn't see that. Yeah, and that was... And that wallpaper, that was BMG Drive. Yeah, I do play that game. Ah, uh, looks like I'll be needing to do some unscrewing, so... I will get a screwdriver and stabilise this. You can see... Got... Two screwdrivers, one with a small head and one with a big head. Hmm, let's try the small head first. Screws on this thing are busted. I don't think this thing will, will last much longer. You better use the big one. Ah, looks like it needs a little more unscrewing. Just a little more. There we go. Ah, oh, what a behemoth of a drive this is. And here's how much it's 1.5 terabytes. Revision A. It's an okay hard drive, but I use it as a backup server due to the lack of anything better. And you can see. Oh, sorry. See? Use the SATA. Now we're going to be plugging this in. Yep, looks like the right way. And we'll be proceeding to put this back into the tray. It's not really meant for two and a half inch, but as Super Embracer, I don't care. I don't care. Now, jump cut because I need to screw this back. As you can see, I've took out that old server hard drive, the rudimentary server one, and inserted the new two and a half inch drive inside the three and a half inch enclosure. So we'll turn it on. Can't hear much. It makes this sound, which sounds like Mario throwing a fireball, and that isn't what a hard drive normally sounds like. And here is the hard disk manager. Well, for Ubuntu. As you can see, we can't even back up the shit. Smart is not supported? That ain't a good sign. No wonder why I wrote to be destroyed on this thing. This hard drive ain't seeing the light of day again. It will go under the hammer. See you later. Oh, and I forgot what had to go under the hammer as well. This one. See ya.